Cowboys Nation! With the devastating injuries to Micah Parsons and Demarcus Lawrence, it's time to ask, did the Cowboys season come to an end before it even started? Is management just watching as the defense falls apart, or are there hidden plans that even the fans aren't noticing? The failure to bring in effective reinforcements raises serious doubts about the competence of the coaching staff. And the question is, what else needs to happen for the fans to react and demand urgent changes in the franchise? Hello, Cowboys Nation! As the Dallas Cowboys tackle another tough season in the NFL, fans and analysts are keeping a close eye on how the players are holding up. Injuries have been a real thorn in the side, especially among some key defensive players, and folks are starting to wonder about the pass rush unit's performance. In this piece, we'll dive deep into these issues, weigh out some possible fixes, and think about what it all means for the future of the team. Injuries are just part of the game in pro football, and this season is no different for our Cowboys. A handful of players are dealing with significant injuries that could shake things up in the coming weeks. Let's take a look at where some key players stand right now. One of the biggest hits to the Cowboys' defense is linebacker Micah Parsons suffering a high ankle sprain. Known for his explosive speed and versatility, Parsons is a crucial piece of the Cowboys' pass rush. The team has shared that he's likely going to be out for several weeks thanks to this injury. While we're all hoping he'll be back after the bye week, you can bet that his absence will be felt on the field. His knack for disrupting opposing offenses and putting pressure on the quarterback is one of a kind, and the Cowboys are going to have to figure out how to fill that gap while he's out. Another crucial injury comes in the form of defensive end Demarcus Lawrence, who is dealing with a midfoot sprain. Like Parsons, Lawrence is a cornerstone of the Cowboys' defense, known for his leadership and ability to stop the run while applying pressure on opposing quarterbacks. Lawrence's injury is also expected to keep him sidelined for several weeks, and he will undergo further evaluation to assess the extent of the damage. His absence, coupled with Parsons' injury, raises concerns about the team's ability to maintain its defensive identity. Things just got a whole lot tougher for the Cowboys, y'all. Words out that rookie pass rusher Sam Williams is done for the season thanks to an undisclosed injury. This kid was supposed to be a real game-changer for the Cowboys' defensive rotation, and losing him now is a real kick in the gut. With his speed on the edge, he was set to stir things up in the backfield and take some of that weight off our veteran guys. But now, with both Parsons and Lawrence sidelined, the Cowboys are really up against it when it comes to depth and production. You hit that like button and subscribe for more Dallas Cowboys updates. This season's shaping out to be a wild one, and we'll be here with all the latest news, analysis, and behind-the-scenes action. Plus, you don't want to miss out on any surprises that might just turn this season into something special. Keep riding with us as we break it all down, from roster changes to game highlights. Let's see if these moves will take the Cowboys to the next level. Now, let's talk about the state of the Cowboys' pass rush. It's been a hot topic, and for good reason. Early in the season, we saw some sparks fly, especially during that impressive game against the Cleveland Browns. But lately? The pass rush has been more like a damp firecracker, struggling to produce those all-important sacks and pressures. After a solid start, the numbers for sacks and quarterback pressures have taken a nosedive. In recent games, the Cowboys just can't seem to get consistent pressure, which means opposing quarterbacks are getting way too comfy in the pocket. This drop in performance can be chalked up to a few different things, key player injuries and those still out there not quite hitting the mark. Now, let me tell y'all, the pass rush is crucial to the Cowboys' defensive game plan, it really sets the tone for how they handle every matchup. With Parsons and Lawrence sitting on the sidelines, the team's gotta figure out how to reignite that fire and get back to being a force to reckon with. If they don't crank up the pressure, opposing offenses are gonna have a field day executing their game plans and picking apart any holes in the Cowboys' secondary. Given the injuries and the dip in production, it makes you wonder, do the Cowboys need to bring in another pass rusher? It's pretty clear they could use some extra firepower, especially if they want to stay competitive in that tough NFC East. Marshawn Neeland, now, named as a young gun who showed some real promise with a solid outing against the Browns. But, consistency's been a bit of a struggle for him over the years. If he can tap into that potential and deliver reliable performance, 
he could turn into a real asset for the Cowboys during this tough stretch. Shanta Galston, Galston's proven he's got a knack for stopping the run, but when it comes to pressure on the quarterback, he's got some work to do. His run-stuffing skills are important, but the Cowboys need him to step it up in the pass-rush department. If he can crank up the pressure, it'll go a long way in helping the team maintain its defensive reputation. Tyrus Wheat, Wheat's mainly known as a special teams guy, but he's flashed some talent here and there. The problem? He's got limited experience as a pass rusher, which raises a few eyebrows about whether he can handle a starting role. If his number gets called, he'll need to step up and show he can make a real difference. The NFL scene is always shifting, with fresh faces popping up as free agents and others making waves through trades. For the Cowboys, it's crucial to explore every avenue to beef up their pass rush. A few names have been floating around as possible free agents who could lend a hand to the Cowboys' defensive line. But let me tell you, most of these seasoned vets have been a bit hit or miss lately, and that raises some eyebrows about how much they can really help out. Rassin Green, now, Green's been solid against the run, but when it comes to rushing the passer, he's not quite what the Cowboys are looking for. Sure, he could add some depth, but he ain't exactly the game-changer this team needs. Frank Clark, once hailed as a top-tier pass rusher, Clark's been all over the map with his performance lately. His age and the fact that he's not quite as effective as he used to be makes folks wonder if he can truly elevate the Cowboys' defense. Justin Houston and Melvin Ingram, both of these guys recently signed with the Miami Dolphins. They've had some pretty impressive careers, but their recent showings haven't been anything to write home about. It's a shame the Cowboys might have let a couple of experienced pass rushers slip through their fingers, ones who could have really made an impact. So, as we keep an eye on the latest Cowboys news, it's clear they gotta stay sharp and consider all their options. The season's just around the corner, and every move counts. Y'all might have heard some chatter going round about Randy Gregory, the former Cowboys linebacker who just signed on with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, Gregory's situation ain't exactly straightforward. He's got all the talent in the world and has shown some real flashes of brilliance, but his history with the Cowboys has been anything but smooth. His time in Dallas was marked by a roller coaster of suspensions and off-field troubles, which ultimately drove him away. While he could be a game-changer if he gets back to form, bringing him back into the fold comes with its fair share of risks. The Cowboys gotta think long and hard about whether the potential upside is worth the gamble of reunitin with Gregory. Now, if the Cowboys are looking to round out their roster with some lower-risk alternatives, they might want to peek at their practice squad. Take Anna King, for instance. He recently signed with the Baltimore Ravens but hasn't been the powerhouse he used to be. His availability could be touch and go, but if the Cowboys find themselves in a bind, he might be worth considering as an emergency depth option. Then there's KJ Henry, a former player with the Washington Commanders who's now chilling on the Bengals practice squad. He hasn't made much of a splash in the league yet, but he's definitely a candidate for a potential call-up if they need an extra hand. Don't forget about Bo Rohr and Andre Carter, too. Both of them have had their chances in the NFL, but consistency has been a bit of a problem. Their skills might add some depth to the roster, but the Cowboys might be best served looking for options that can deliver more reliably. As the Cowboys tackle these hurdles, the specter of potential trades looms large. The team's gotta tread carefully, especially when it comes to player contracts and the long-term impact of their decisions. Renick, he's been pretty open about wanting a raise, which could throw a wrench in any trade talks. His value to the squad might just tip the scales on whether the Cowboys decide to move him or not. Isaiah Land, here's a name to keep in mind. A former Cowboy now playing with the Indianapolis Colts, Land could be a budget-friendly pick for Dallas. Since he's already familiar with the team's playbook, he could hit the ground running if the Cowboys bring him back. Josh Uche and Isaiah Foskey, these two are definitely worth a look as trade targets to bolster the Cowboys' pass rush. Buche, in particular, has flashed some serious talent and could be a nice fit in the Cowboys' defensive schemes. As the Cowboys keep sifting through their options, fans can expect regular updates and analyses on any new signings or trades. It's crucial for the Cowboys to tackle these matters swiftly, 
as the way the season unfolds depends on their ability to adapt to the current climate. Now, for all you diehard fans out there, what do you all think about the losses of Parsons and Lawrence? How do you feel about the trade talks and ideas we've tossed around? Don't be shy share your thoughts in the comments below.